It's a great honor to get to stand up here as, as the men's basketball coach and talk about a former player. But for me, it's, it's a little more special than that today. Uh, Ty was uh, my roommate, he was a teammate, uh, and, and more than anything else, just a dear friend. And uh, when you think of the first first team All-American in, in Wayland Baptist history, you probably think of a guy that can run and jump and fly around the court. And uh, again, I think that's what makes Ty so special. I've, I've never seen a guy at any level use someone's athletic advantage on him against themselves. And uh, his commitment to his skills, his determination, all those things had a great part. Like, he was a great teammate. I think that uh, other than his skills and all the things he brought to the court, you knew how much he cared. Um, and I think that's something that uh, all those guys that uh, played there for Coach Thurman and some of the things we were able to do, uh, we knew how much uh, we all cared, and Ty was a, a huge piece uh, to that process. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all the good times. 30 years with Wayland, 8 with South Plains, 38 total. Most of my adult life has been in dealing with education and working with young people. And I look around and I see the results of the hard work that many, many of you have done in this room this morning. Now, I remember we sat there in the stands for over an hour with alcohol and tweezers pulling splinters out of his feet. He never stopped. And boy, did that ever teach me a lesson. I think it, Mom is the one that found it in the Baptist Standard said, read about these girls. They're number one in the nation. And, and I, I read about Carmen Wynn and, and what these girls had done and the tradition. I just, that just, it blew my mind. I thought these girls have been playing ball for a long time there. The relationships that you built here, as a lot of you already know, are just, they're priceless and you never forget. I remember Frank driving us to different places. I remember going over to, to Wilda and their house and just, just being so blessed with with food and love and, and being tutored and whatever we needed and, and the friendships that you make for life here with the girls that you play with, it's just it's just a neat thing. And Texas was hot and cowboys and horses and it was January and it was not hot and there was no cowboys and there was no horses and it was flat and the paper made me cry. So it didn't start well but swiftly skyrocketed from there so I was very blessed to, to be able to come to Wayland so Wayland gave me that. The, the education I received here, the professors, their, their countless hours, their extra time, their hey I know you couldn't be here because of track you know we'll help you make this up or here's what you missed let's go over it. Those are invaluable. Those the, the other people behind you are what get you and what keep you going when you, when you don't honestly think that you can. So when I would go through the Hall of Honor, whenever I was coaching or as a player, I would see all these plaques. And I was like, maybe one day I can be up there. I don't know. Warden keeps sandbagging me and saying that I'm probably not good enough to be up there. But I know that he was just, that tough love was there. I wanted to go someplace different, to set my own pace. And so I went to Wayland. I remember my dad taking me to the tryout that day. And... I hadn't played for a male coach before, and one of the things I remember telling my dad coming home is that I actually have a coach that's going to get out there on the court with me. He's not going to expect me to do something that he can't do. And so that was one of my favorite things whenever we were out there on the court practicing, that he could get out there and show exactly what we were supposed to be doing on the court. Um, a lot of things have changed since the game I, that I played. It was 15 points. And it was not, and it was side out ball. So even when I was coaching, I had to make the transition of the rally scoring and the libero. And whenever the libero came around, I was like, wow, I could have played that. And I, I would have owned that position. <laughs> because not that I didn't like to hit, but if you can tell, I'm not very tall. And I always had to work on that vertical jump. But I guess I did a few things right if I still hold the record. So girls, let's get that record off there. <laughs> Somebody can kill that record. <laughs>